Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to jump start your vehicle using the same discharge battery that's in it. A while back on my channel, I showed you how I made this very nice super capacitor boost pack using these 400 farad aerogel capacitors, and I also showed you a couple of tests. If you have not seen that video, you can click on the end card after watching this video for a lot more information. Super capacitors have a very low internal resistance which allows them to charge up extremely quickly. So when I take that boost pack and I touch it to each one of these posts, the positive and the negative, it only takes about a second for that boost pack to be fully charged. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is turn the key to show you that the battery is very weak. Then I'm going to give you a voltage reading off the battery. Okay, and you can see we have 10.22 volts. Okay, now what I'm going to do is charge up the supercapacitor bank to the same voltage as the battery, which is right around 10.2 volts. I'm going to touch this briefly to the positive terminal. Once that's done, I'm going to show you the next step. That's it. Now, in order to jump start, we're going to have to get the voltage of this bank up to a much higher level, right around 14.25 to 14.5. And the way to do that, we're going to be using a DC to DC step-up converter, like you see right here. This is designed to be plugged into the accessory socket of the vehicle. There's a power indicator light. And over here is another accessory socket that I would plug at this end of the supercapacitor bank into. Now this will start up to a 3 liter engine V6. If you wanted to start a much larger engine, you'd have to use larger capacitors or parallel two banks like you see right here. Using the high efficiency converter inside this unit, we'll be able to take battery voltage as low as 6 or 8 volts and step it all the way up to 14.25 to charge the supercapacitor bank. Okay, let me take this inside the vehicle hook this up and I'm going to show you how the voltage starts climbing using this device. The step up converter is now connected to the boost pack and I'll be plugging it into the 12 volt accessory socket located in my trunk. Right here is a look at the inside of the DC converter. This DC step up module has voltage as well as current settings. To keep the heat sinks from getting too hot I limited the flow of current into the boost pack. It takes between 3 and 5 minutes to fully charge the supercapacitors. You can see the voltage of the boost pack displayed on the digital multimeter and as soon as I plug in the DC converter you'll see that voltage start to rise. For those of you that are wondering, not all supercapacitors are created equal. If you're interested in seeing some tests that were done using less expensive Chinese made supercapacitors then you're definitely going to want to check out my other video. Okay, the boost pack is now fully charged, showing 14.35 volts. I'm now able to disconnect the step-up converter. Let's take the charged up boost pack, which is at 14.2 volts. I'm going to connect this to the positive. Good. Connect this to the negative, and then try starting the vehicle. And there you go, started it right up using the same dead battery. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up, subscribe, and also check out my extensive video playlist for other videos of interest to you. Thank you very much for watching.